I have not one, but four lockdown builds to show you in today's video. Some of these locks will be 6'7", and some will be 6'8". Some will have strength, and some won't. Some will have contact dunks, and some won't. Some will have a rebounding on it. Some will have a free throw on it as well. But regardless, all these lockdown builds will have a crazy amount of high defensive stats. So hopefully this video gives you the options you need to help you get closer to making your 2K24 build. So subscribe to the channel if you think I help you at all in today's video and drop a like for more 2k24 videos and live streams and let's get in to build number one what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back at it with yet another banger man and make sure y'all know that this build or these builds were all made at 2k community these days so some of the you know badge requirements animation requirements might change but for the most part, the builds are going to be very similar. But we made a lot of builds, a lot of lockdown builds that I think you guys are going to like. Let me know your honest opinions in the comments anyways, bro. I don't want no fake opinions, bro. But I mean, I'm sure a lot of y'all, I'm seeing a lot of people like judge builds right now. And they're like judging it like it's 2K23 builds, bro. These are not 2K23 builds. These are 2K24 builds. And you're going to find out how hard it is to make good builds when you get your hands on this builder. But anyways, 6'7 lock with 238 pounds weight, max wingspan. This is the first lock um, we made. This is actually the lock that I think I played the rec gameplay in, if you guys saw that. Um, and yeah, so this is what we're going for. Some of these locks are going to have strength. Some of them aren't. Some of them have contacts, all that. There's going to be a lot of options. I do think 6.7 and 6.8 are the best heights, though, y'all. 6.6 uh, maybe for Pro-Am, but 6.6, you get no anchor. Uh, the, the interior defensive block is just so bad. Like, your only good defensive stats are going to be steal and block at that point. Um, so, yeah, I, I just don't know about 6.6 six, and maybe for Pro-Am. But anyways, you see the stats right here. Like, this build gets contacts. 89 driving dunk as we're adjusting it still. 78.3. I mean, that's basically the max you're going to get on a lock. Um, we're not going to have ball handle on this lock, though. This is literally just a guard ball shooting the corner, like a spot of build to play defense, right? Obviously, that's what a lock is. Unless you want to make a play lock, go watch one of my ISO build videos because uh, that's what those builds basically are. Anyways, uh, yeah, 98 permanent defense, 96 steel, 87 block, 72 interior for that silver anchor. We have max acceleration, 82 strength right now, but I end up adjusting that to like max strength. 95 stamina and this is what we're rocking with it. and you're gonna see me adjust the build around um and there's definitely some adjustments that you guys can easily make like for example if any of you guys play fives a lot and you want free throw those are easy adjustments like you don't have to be like oh this build is trash it has no free throw just make an easy adjustment lower something else the free throw is the easiest attribute to upgrade in the game you could probably lower something down two and get damn near a max free throw like that's how easy it is to get a free thing you can easily get like a 70 plus free throw on this build with a minor adjustment so anyways you see hall of fame challenger hall of fame ankle braces hall of fame pick dodger hall of fame off ball pass gold 94 feet gold uh clamps we actually get hall of fame hall of fame feet once we upgrade our stamina you're gonna see me adjusting it i'm really just trying to min max this lock to the best of the abilities um but that's gonna be in the one of the other lock builds but yeah that log build, not too bad. We're going to compare the two six, six sevens right next to each other once I make both of them so you guys can get a direct comparison. But Jimmy Butler, Jaden McDaniels, and Tony Allen for this one. Hybrid defender, one of the only locks that I've seen people make that actually gets contact dunks and gets a good three-pointer and has good defense. Obviously, the pass accuracy on this one was a little low, though. I think we had like a 60 pass accuracy. Trust me, we got locks with 75 pass accuracy, which should be good enough. Uh, if you're going higher than that on a lock for passing your seat, you're definitely going to have to sacrifice something else like crazy. But here's number build number two uh, that we're going to go with here. And you guys are going to see the adjustments made. And yeah, I feel like no matter what, unless you really want to go with a 6-6 lock, all your options are going to be in this build video. Um, and if there may be minor adjustments, like I said, free throw that you might want to make. But all the options are here, bro. Unless you want to make a 6-6 with no anchor. And I just, I'm not comfortable personally making a lock build that can't go defend the paint with without getting a steal you know what i mean so i feel like you've got to have anchor if you guys didn't know six six and below builds do not get anchor anyways on to build two as you can see make sure y'all are subscribed drop a like we're going for contact dunks again we're going for that three pointer of course we got the stamina at 95 we end up bumping that up for the hall of fame 94 feet on this build so yeah make sure you guys do that the stamina be affecting some bad is like handles for days 94 feet a couple other ones uh, for some of your builds but look at the look at it 98 permanent defense bro look at all those bad hall of fame challenger man is gonna be so key i'm telling you look at right stick ripper plus interceptor plus glove and hall of fame right stick ripper is gonna be insane make sure y'all are using your right stick this year when going for reaches especially y'all locks out there and then obviously we up in that block of course why would we go six eight, seven if we're not gonna up the block so we get the silver anchor we have gold workhorse right now i'm pretty sure that goes to hall of fame uh when i adjust the build later on but yeah this build is looking insane already like it's it's looking similar to the last one but you're gonna see some adjustments so i try to go for rebound because i know a lot of y'all are probably gonna be complaining about rebound on some of these lockdowns but bro it's just 
some of these stats you you have to pick and choose man if you guys want to rebound i'm sure there's something else here maybe like the contacts go to an 80 and up the rebound that you can go with on builds like this but i think i have some locks in here that have rebound we max the strength right here the 92 strength gold immovable force is gonna be huge for locks bro so obviously if you want to make a lock you know maybe some locks can have a lower strength like in the 60s 70s but bro if you max strength on a lock and you can still get away with some stuff like you're gonna see with this build it's gonna be noticeable man with some of the baddies you get like i know some of y'all didn't trust strength last year but the difference is this year you're getting crazy good baddies if you up the strength but anyways we max the excel we max the speed we got a 78 three-pointer now 79 is gold is silver blinders but i don't know is silver blinders worth it for a lock i don't know that's up for y'all to decide uh i try to see what kind of max dunk we can get you see it can go to a 92 here the next contact dunk would be at 93 though so we could get 93 dunk on this which is kind of sane i mean y'all can go for that if y'all want to go for the 93 dunk for the extra context go for it there that's that's what it would end up looking like something like that but honestly 89 90 dunk might be the money spot for most builds uh especially since uh you know the dunk just gets mad expensive plus we need a packet pass like i see this build is a 25 pass like you're seeing right now so we get it up to a 50 i end up getting up to, up to a 75 by adjusting some of the other stats right here i'm just you're seeing me adjust the stats. that's why i like to show y'all the live footage of me making the build like i'm literally trying to min max it you're seeing what happens when i adjust things look at now we get the 75 pass accuracy max that speed back up of course but now we don't have a 98 perverty we have a 95 but honestly it's still good bro like i don't think we even lost anything i don't uh, we still get like the same amount of bad as we had silver post lockdown now too because we're upgrading the interior defense to an 82 and look at this build right now uh, and then we up the stamina 94 feet out hall of fame hall of fame workhorse max strength gold immovable force 70 se bro this build is insane this build is looking glitchy 78 3 we have a 96 steel we get gold right stick ripper gold interceptor hall of fame 94 feet bro look at these badges look at these badges and we get an 88 dunk i think i actually end up finessing at 89 dunk. we'll see actually no i think it's 88 but this is insane 76 pass accuracy 2 for the extra uh playmaker badges bro this is a crazy build you cannot tell me this lock ain't devious bro 96 steel look at all these hall of fame badges bro hall of fame challenger hall of fame 94 feet hall of fame interceptor gold clamps gold glove gold right stick ripper gold brick wall dude this hall of fame workhorse hall of fame off ball pass hall of fame ankle braces this build is literally insane y'all silver giant slayer silver slithery like silver chase down bronze rebound chaser i mean the only complaint you can have about this build is the rebound that's literally the only complaint you could have like yeah i mean if you were looking for a dribbling lock go watch the iso builds video this is a lockdown build we're not looking to dribble we're looking to strap up and shoot that rock and maybe get a contact on every once in a while same build name but honestly i think this first build right here or the second build right here was better the same comparisons hybrid defender let's go ahead and compare both six sevens side by side the left was the first build i believe and the right was the second build honestly what do y'all think based off the baddest i think it's the right build let me know in the comments we don't get the 89 dunk we get the 88 dunk but it's okay our defense is insane still we get a better pass accuracy on the right three pointers about the same still get the strength honestly y'all could pick and choose the one on the right i think is better now once again if you want a free throw that's an easy solution bro you can lower some of these stats um whatever you think was just least important that i upgraded and get an easy free throw plus 20 free throw is easy to do in the builder but yeah these are the best six seven lockdowns right here in my opinion i'm going to show six eights later on in this video make sure to drop a like if you mess with one of these six seven lockdown builds right here subscribe to the channel but yeah this is what i'm thinking is looking good honestly i looked at a bunch of other people's lockdown builds i think i got the best lock builds bro i'm telling you like that one on the right if you want to make a six seven that's devious you are strapping up you are shooting you're gonna get some passing styles at least and you're getting contact dunks bro it, it don't get much better than that y'all let's move on to the six eight lockdowns all right now it's time for the six eight lockdown builds now personally i think that seven that second six seven lockdown build i made is by far the best lock i've seen anyone make but at least with no ball handle obviously but that's just my opinion but anyways we're gonna look at the 6-8 lockdown now shout out to my boy hollywood go give him a follow on twitch this is his 6-8 lockdown build and then we're gonna compare it to two other screenshots i saw on twitter of 6-8 lockdown builds and y'all gonna tell me in the comments which of 6-8 lockdown y'all like the best okay uh once again we didn't make a 6-6 this video because they don't get anchor bro like 
I'm just not, I don't know. Maybe y'all can make a, a lock down with no anchor, but personally, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Would you make a lock with no anchor? Personally, I can't do that, bro. I literally can't do it. Anyways, 82 speed, 74 excel. Obviously, you max the perimeter, max the steel. Now, you see the perimeter defense can't get, you know, the max is 94 on this 6 8 lock. So it can't get up there for real. Uh, by the way, all these lockdowns, of course, have max wingspan. Uh, this lockdown right here, uh, 218 pounds. Uh, we're putting up the stamina. We're putting up the strength a little bit. And obviously, the strength isn't going to be nearly as high as this lock compared to the last one. The last one was in like, what, 92, 93 strength. Um, but yeah, pass legacy, of course, got to get that to 75. 75 is the lowest you can unlock any pass styles from, obviously. And uh, yeah, by the way, pass styles just make your passes faster. That's just, and your pass legacy be higher makes your pass styles uh, faster. You guys didn't know for 2K24. Anyways, interior defense, we're just kind of messing. Hollywood's just kind of messing around with stuff. You know, you're getting gold anchor, Hall of Fame interceptor, Hall of Fame right stick ripper. Yo, those bad, those steel badges, I feel like we're gonna be crazy this year, dog. Uh, bronze post lockdown right now, bronze workhorse. And yeah, I mean, he's just messing around with it. He's literally just trying to min and max. Now, this lockdown won't get contact dunks, but he's trying to min max it to its best of ability. Pretty sure this one gets a rebound. Um, and honestly, I mean, let me know in the comments. Do you guys think 6867 or maybe you think 66 is going to be the way for locks? Let me know in the comments because I feel like taller locks are definitely going to be the way for 2K24. You know, 6768. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking 67. That second build was definitely the best one. You see, he's trying to upgrade his standing dug now, trying to get with all that. Honestly, I feel like there are some underrated stats you could upgrade as a lock. Like, he's going to upgrade some of them in this uh, build right here. Like, standing dug, if you're going to backdoor a standing dug, like, that could be a good attribute to upgrade for a lock. You're going to be sitting in the corner, back doors and offense, even ball handle and speed ball. Upgrading these a little bit. I think he upgraded both of these to a 50. Uh, upgrading both of these just a little bit, just so you, when you catch the ball, maybe you don't get ripped when you're waiting for your guard to get it. Or maybe when you, you know, have the ball and, you know, they're, they think you're going to pass it to the guard, you run to the rim. Like, it could be underrated stats that maybe you want to upgrade just a little bit. You know, not anything to dribble, but just get a little boost out of, you know, standing still a little bit. Uh, he does go with a 70 defense rebound right there. Now, if you want to make a lock with high rebounding, obviously, you're going to have to sacrifice something. So anyone that wants a rebounding lock in that's watching this video, I'm sure there's people that are. I mean, dude, you're really going to have to sac sacrifice something because the rebounding is expensive. You see, we get the gold chase down right there with an 80 vertical, which is actually really nice, bro. This build's blocking badges are pretty good with this high vertical. Um, You got gold anchor. You got gold pogo. You got gold chase down very good blocking badges on this lockdown specifically uh actually hall of fame chase down okay 94 block 83 vertical hall of fame chase down artist to be honest is it gonna be in 2k20 good in 2k24 we don't we don't know they they did say they did buff uh the chase down blocks but mike wang said it isn't gonna be as good as it was in 2k22 though uh but yeah you see the stats 99 overall the defense is good uh the rebounding is better than the last build i think pass accuracy like solid it's got a little ball handle a little speed with ball it's not bad is it better than the six seven second build we made in this video i don't think so but if you want a taller lock this is what you go with compared to jason tatum i don't know how uh jimmy butler and ron artest ron artest is a w uh comparison and it's a three and d threat now let's compare this to the other six eight lockdown which is the last lockdown uh build of this video let's go ahead and take a look so the build on the left is the one that hollywood just made and the build on the right is our final six eight lockdown build of today's video six eight lockdown builds right here now, as you could see, bro, I feel like a lot of y'all who mess with fives and did want a free throw and a rebound, that one on the right is insane, dog. I mean, I think the one on the right wins this. So the best, so this is my opinions in this video. And obviously, you guys can all have your own opinions. In my opinion, the second 6-7 we showed and the 6-8 on the right right here are the two best lockdown builds in the game. Now, maybe in 6-7, you want to adjust the free throw. That's fine. But if you want the rebound, this is the six. This is the lockdown you go with, right? This build has way higher rebounding than the build on the left. Same excel, same speed, right? A little, you know, obviously, that's a lower strength, right? You can probably up the strength if you sacrifice, you, you, you know, maybe O board or something like that. You could probably up the strength a little bit. Uh, lower vertical, same stamina. But look at the rebounding is just 10 times better. A little lower block. You know, you go from gold anchor to silver. Silver. Uh, you still get the steel. You still get the perimeter defense. You get a higher uh, interior defense. You still get the same pass accuracy. Same three pointer. You get a standing dunk. You actually get this good standing dunk and you get a higher driving dunk. 
Now, obviously, neither of these 6.8s get contacts. That's why the 6.7 is really good, y'all. I mean, I'm telling y'all, bro. I really cooked up in the builder this year at Community Day. I feel like I had two of the best ISO builds out of any of the builds I've seen. I feel like I really... We got some good lockdown options for y'all in this video right here. And then the center builds, bro. Go If you haven't seen the center builds, I'm telling you, I cooked up with that as well. We got some good builds for y'all here. There's all options. If you wanted a rebound build, you got it. If you wanted the free throw, if you wanted the contact dunks, if you wanted crazy defense, if you wanted a higher block, we, we wanted the strength, no strength. We had it in this video. So make sure to drop a like if you guys think I helped you guys out at all. Give me your honest opinions in the comments, bro. If you think one of these builds is trash, tell me. If you think one of these builds is better, tell me, bro. Because we're all trying to find the best builds for each of our archetypes in 2K24. And I'm just trying to help y'all out at the end of the day save you all some vc but anyways make sure to subscribe to the channel for more 2k24 videos drop a like if y'all want me to guard uh drop a small guards build uh video and yeah man can't wait for 2k24 to drop gonna be streaming a lot so make sure to turn on notifications it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out y'all peace